landing. This is a testament to uh, Mohammed's condition that he's taken these shots so well because there's some big bombs gone in. He tried to shoot to avoid the, uh, the shots and get the takedown, but uh, a nice ball by Chris. Now, for this fight, we can see Chris is wearing wrestling boots. Um, for the striking, he'll be able to get a, 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 a better strength into his punches, he's got a better grip. How would it affect maybe the grappling and the wrestling? And what sort of a game plan do you think uh, he's come in with? Where oh, he gets through a headbutt. An illegal headbutt there thrown by Chris. It's easy to do when you get carried away, and I've done it a couple of times myself. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Mohammed's going to get some time to recover here. But uh, he may look for a way out. I, I hope that's not the case. I hope not. But uh, to, to answer, answer the question on the wrestling boots, um, firstly, when it comes to kicking, obviously there'll be, it, it, it'll be illegal for him to, to, kick, to kick certain targets with, with shoes on. Um, He'll have more traction for the wrestling. He'll have, he'll have uh, better footing, but he may be more susceptible to being leg locked. Yeah, it, I mean, I would have thought it was definitely a, a top position uh, sort of game. He's wanting to, to strike and, and, and wrestle and ground and pound. It's not, they're not great for when you're on the bottom position. I'm not sure exactly what uh, Chris said then, but I think he was wanting his opponent to stand up and fight. <laughs> That's very game of him. However, he is the one that, that, that made the foul. That's true. That's true. I mean, he, uh, the consequences of the uh, uh, The crowd are getting a little bit... Uh, Mohammed is re refusing to fight on. He was getting some punishment. Uh, although the headbutt, ob obviously a blatant rule infraction. The home crowd here shouting for Chris Robin. So I think the. The result is actually going to be a disqualification loss for Chris Hogan, which is a shame when he was uh, dominating the fight so well. Oh, no, no, they're giving him the win. Oh, no. They gave his opponent... Yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. You were right, they have disqualified Chris Hogan. It's a shame when the fight was dominating so well, because I know you can get, just get carried away, um, and I'm sure he didn't intentionally eat it, he didn't eat it, but I mean, it was just uh, in the heat of the war, but it just, these things happen.
Uh, both guys are making their pre pro debut here, um, but obviously we, we, we've seen a couple of fighters already from Atherton. Uh, from the Townsville camp, uh, Carl Townsville, obviously an experienced uh, mixed martial arts trainer, uh, Pop felt, I believe, under uh, Matt Thornton from the FPGI. Right. Oh, some good action here. And we've now got uh, Andy Miles on the floor with Craig Cunliffe on the top. Uh, Andy Miles looked a little bit too much like he was sparring then. He was a bit relaxed in the stand-up and I think he got caught off guard. Yeah, Craig Cunliffe looked uh, very aggressive and, and used his strikes to, to set up a nice takedown. Where he's, he's, he's got his opponent pinned into the fence now, looking to land from ground and pound. Um, these two, as I say, some pro debuts. So I don't want to know much about these fighters, but um, Andy Miles is from the famous SBG camp in Manchester. He looks very well put together. Oh. He's got a, a very bad cut under his eye, and I think that's going to be a fight stopper. It is pretty bad. He's got cut under his left eye. Well, he, he looks in great shape. I wonder how much he benches. Yeah, he looks like uh, he's, he looks like a very strong, uh, a very strong fighter. He's in good condition. Um, but as you say, possibly came out a bit too relaxed. Yeah, maybe a little too relaxed. And, and, and got caught straight off the bat. You can see on the screen on the monitor, you can see how bad that cut is. It is it, it's quite a gas. I wonder if they've got uh, any agenda with the wheel to let the fight carry on. Yeah, it looks like, looks like they, they might let the fight carry on. They've locked the cage. But they should, they should wipe off the excess blood. <laughs> and a white towel. I'm sure his mum will appreciate that. <laughs> Well, we'll look, from, uh, look for Andy to come out uh, miles more prepared for this round. Oh, now they're both swinging bombs. Maybe Andy's trying to get one back. Yeah, someone, someone's going to get dropped. <laughs> Good call by the referee. Yeah, um, that cut was worse, and the blood was going everywhere. Um, and he, he was in a, 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 a seriously inferior position. So obviously, obviously, you are you are uh, disappointed for your, for your fighter. A shame, a, a shame for Andy Miles. But a good win for Craig Cunliffe. I'm sure Andy will be back.
Very, very strong for his weight. Very strong 73 kilo fighter. Yeah, he, he does look very powerful. Um, interesting tattoo on his back. Looks like the uh, Akuma sign from Street Fighter. Uh, do you want to elaborate on that, Lee? I'm not sure what that sign is. <laughs> uh, a, a computer game. Um, there's a character called Akuma in the game Street Fighter, and he's got a symbol on his back that resembles that one. Um, I don't know if it's related, but just a point of interest there. Well, at the moment we've got Danny in, uh, uh, in Chris's guard. Look for him to, to be throwing some heavy shots similar to Neil Barber, I'd imagine. Is he looking to pass guard there? Uh, we can't see too well. The, the uh, referees are obstructing our view. Obviously, uh, the fire safety is more important. Because Chris Shaw is wearing boots, does that mean he won't be able to kick up to Danny's head from the floor? Well, they're both wearing boots, is it? Yeah. Uh, Kicking to the head in boots is going to be illegal. Yeah. Here we go. Danny yeah. looking for a nice round kick. Chris throws a punch and shoots in. He, he, but he's been caught in the guillotine. He's got an arm in to defend. Although when you've got a strong guy squeezing... Oh, he, no, he popped out, popped his head out. And he's managed to get top position with Danny now on his back. So let's see uh, Chris to look to ground and pound. Danny to look for... Uh, Submissions. Danny has got a submission win against one of the UK's top welterweights, um, Matt Thorpe, uh, a, a few years back on the uh, Ultimate Combat. He won that by armbar from, from his guard. Well, uh, so I know he has got a submission. Yeah, although he although he's stacked against the fence, <clears throat> he's doing the right thing by tying his opponent up and looking for submissions while keeping him tied up. Um, of course, this isn't a submission fight. This is mixed martial arts. You have to uh, tie your opponent up, or he's gonna he's gonna start punching you. We could possibly see a leg hook attack here. Uh, if, yeah, Chris Shaw diving on the leg. Oh, Danny's done well to reverse position. Yeah, it's showing his strength. His strength and his wrestling skill, he reversed it. Yeah. Um, and he's caught now with Chris's half guard. Yeah, he, Chris, has, Chris has pulled the half guard back. Also tying his opponent up so he can't be, can't be struck. Good tactics here. Uh, interestingly, a point to notice that the rules on uh, the case fighting championship are slightly different to the Nevada State Athletic Commission rules. In so far as there's no elbows on the floor, um, this is a position where you might see elbows coming from a uh, from half guard position. And they have to look slightly uh, change the rules so they be more punches from that position. I think that's possibly a good rule. Um, elbows, el elbows can cause cuts and uh, possibly stop a fight prematurely. Yeah, I do. I think it makes for a more exciting fight to actually not have them. I think these rules are very good, and especially uh, the refereeing is very consistent in keeping the action going. If it stalls on the floor, they stand them back up. If yeah. it stalls against the fence, they, uh, they keep them going. So it makes it better for the crowd. The crowd here is a, a very lively uh, um, and involved crowd, and I think it makes it a better uh, spectacle for them all. Yeah, the, the uh, refereeing, as you say, being, being consistent, it's been very, very good so far. Um, Oh, and he just broke the action there. 
again, as you were saying, to, to stand them back up when there's lack of action. Oh, nice setup for the double leg. Yeah, that was a, a textbook. Uh, dummy to the head and, and shoot for a double. He's got the takedown, Dan, but uh, Danny's doing well to stay against the fence, though. And, yeah, and, and, and avoid being put on his back. He, he got his feet out to the side, on the same side as his hips, and he's using that to stand back up. It's called a whizzer. If you see his left arm overhooking, that's right. And then he's got managed to get the underhook with his right arm. Yeah, he, he's not getting again showing he's, he's got that wrestling skill. He's keeping that arm locked up. He's actually decided to go to his back now. I think he'll be looking for a submission here. He could possibly work in a triangle. He needs to get his, his left leg free. Yeah. Chris is doing a good job there of holding down his left foot to stop him able to get it round. He's done a very good job to him north south. Yeah, he's past the garden, he's got a dominant position. That was a very nice transition. But watch maybe for Danny to boost off the cage. You swear uh, it's different submission wrestling. Yeah, he's he powerful. Him. That's what he does. He reverses the position and now he's got the dominant position. Just as you called it. Yeah, excellent work. Of course, we have a uh, better view of the action from up here. His, his opponent <laughs> wouldn't have seen what he was setting up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then. that's true. I don't think his opponent knew that he had his feet climbing up the fence. So, that first round, Lee, very close, tough to call. Um, Wood just got it a draw. I wouldn't like to call it. <laughs> I'll say that much. Uh, Danny, obviously, the bigger and stronger fighter. Both guys look very skillful. I think this round will definitely be. Uh, a decider, and the fight is still anyone's fight. Yeah. Yeah, I was impressed with Danny's wrestling. Showed good wrestling against a, a, a guy from a wrestling background. Danny's managed to use his strength and conditioning and, and skill to get the top position. Um, he did get put on his back, and you saw the wrestling skill from Chris as he, was, he got a couple of good double leg takedowns. So, very backwards and forwards, I think. Um, Definitely, uh, uh, I never like to score a fight a draw or, or a, a round of draw, but I think that was too close to call. Oh, he tried the, the, the same same dummy setup again, but uh, obviously, yeah, a, a little further out there, and Danny's actually caught him with a guillotine. Yeah, he was wider uh, this time. But uh, the, the jockey here for the takedown. Uh, Chris, Chris, Chris got the body lock, but Nucci might attempt failed by uh, Danny Rogerson. Yeah, which leaves Chris in mount. He's let me look, but he's let Danny use his strength to get him out. He's maybe put himself in an armbar. He's having, he's, he's tapping. tapping. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I think he put himself in that by trying to get out of the position. Yeah, I think he possibly used his. Uh, he tried to use his strength too much, he, and uh, neglected a technical escape there as a poke. And, then, and he said he went to use his power to escape and put himself into a submission. Yeah, this is a shame and he'll be kicking himself when he sees the video. But a, a great win for Chris Shaw. Um, yeah, his home crowd. Chris Shaw showed show some nice wrestling there. Um, but obviously got the submission and awareness. As soon as he saw the submission, he took it. Very, very good. Um, we didn't see much from either fighter on the peak, really. No, uh, there wasn't much stand-up in that fight, but they both used the, 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 their strong areas, and they were both strong in the same areas. It was good. Uh, technical backs and forwards, very, very close, and then as soon as one sees the, the, the submission or the, the finish, he took it. Uh, an excellent fight again. So here we go, the official, the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, on the 42nd of round two, a nice submission in the ring corner, the most great show! And ladies and gentlemen, we give you three Danny Ferguson!
Welcome back to the second half. Here we've got Leslie Ojikabana against Jason Tan. Two fighters we know quite well. Um, what, what are you looking for in this fight, Lee? Well, uh, Jason, obviously, a superb submission fighter.